swampy. No, not right now, beef. Swampy. No beef. Swampy. Wait. No beef. <laughs> swampy. <laughs> what? Are you dreaming you're in the Stouffer's commercial again? <laughs> Meaty cheesy. Meaty cheesy. Oh. Meaty cheesy. Meaty che I wish I was in the Stouffer's commercial again. You were dreaming about my son. Martha has a son named Beef. The last time we did this, it was 2020. And COVID was just starting. It's now 2024, Swampy. Four a years. A lot. A lot changed. It's so sad. <laughs> I mean, it, it's nice, but it is also a lot of sad things. Like, who's on your shirt? Would you like to show the Martha people? made me a shirt. It says Blanche. Blanche passed away. She went to heaven to be with Blanket. It was very sad, very sudden. But it was... <laughs> what? I have the giggles because he and I cope with things by blaming each other yep, for these... She just told me that I killed my cat, but yeah. I'm responsible. Real thoughtful. <laughs> That's how we cope, though. It's always like, oh, you did it. But we know that we're doing it. It's not like we're unaware that that's how we cope. It's not normal. It isn't. No, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's I fun. Tried, I tried to explain it to someone once, and they just sort of looked at me. I have a friend I was explaining, like, you know, that sometimes we cope with dark humor, and I gave a really bad example. It was real. But she's just like, okay. What, do you remember the example? Yeah. Oh, you can't say. No. no. <laughs> um, so what else happened? Um, you have a very lovely uh, partner. I have a partner. <laughs> Why we find that word so funny? <laughs> well, you'll never know. I do. But he really does. Like, people have messaged me periodically on the Unkind TV Instagram, which I don't really check, but now I've got to bring it back. Yeah, you we're do. back. Like we're Polter ba guys, can you do it? We're back. You do it. You do it. We're back. We're back. Why does it say someone's outside our my house? <laughs> Person seen front doorbell. Anyway, people ask about you, and a lot of them saw meaty cheesy. Meaty cheesy. The mo it's so bizarre. But it so... was perfect for you. It was. I noticed your socks say dry fit. Do you have sweaty feet? Well, I do, but I don't know if that's why they're... I don't know. I like tight socks. You know I used to throw, I wear socks once and then I'd throw them out. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I like them tight. I like my... What, Martha? I like my socks tight. They have as, to fit right. They have to fit right. And as soon as they get a little stretchy... But that also had to do with being in Queens because I had that tiny apartment and there was litter and hair everywhere. So the socks would get so filthy so oh, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was another reason. He's in Connecticut now. In a house. He lives like Catherine Hepburn. He really does have a very nice partner. I do. I do. We he married me, name. basically. He I found did. me and a boy. I did. He's even half Cuban. We went to the same high school. That was a coincidence because he doesn't. He didn't live in New York at the time. No. Like a whole. He knows my husband. <laughs> He, he does. He does. It was meant to be. We'll leave it at that. But it was just like one of these six degrees of separation thing. It's not surprising. No, it's not. You're just like in my life. <laughs> you wish I was further in your life. We're here in Martha's bedroom. Yeah, we're in my bedroom. So I have some updates too. So you've been with him three years. Three years, yep. He's very handsome. I'm saying this objectively. He's a very nice he is. boy. He doesn't think so, but he is. He might he just is, be though. acting he's so cute. modest. Well, he's very handsome. Yeah. Everybody who sees his picture, like I took pictures with the, uh, one of the times you visited with him. Yeah. And everybody I showed pictures was like, that guy is really good looking, not you. <laughs> I know. I'm an ugly ass. No, no they're just like, because it's the first time they're seeing him. Yeah. Like, who is that? That's major. Because you were, like, just alone with your cats for a very long time. I, I thought that's how it was going to be. They would just eat you one day? I No, I did. Or we would eat them. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about you, Miss Martha? Uh, Miss Martha has uh, Mr. Martha. We got married. It's the same guy that we used to talk about all those years ago. Things evolved. We got married. We have a little boy, and we call him Beef. I'm not saying his name because of YouTube, but it's... His nickname really is Beef, 
uh, that started because when I came home from the hospital, mm -hmm. he made a roast beef. It was really good. And then later we were in bed and he was cuddling beef. He was so like tiny and pink. I remember he's like a long. I know. And he was in um, Mr. Martha's sweater. And he said, look, he's like a little roast beef. So it was originally roast beef and then it became beef. Now it's beef boy. He calls him beef, beef boy. Beef boy. He's really cute. He's two, almost two and a half years old. He's very, very smart. He counted to like 50. He loves Swampy. We used to joke about Uncle Swampy, Uncle Swampy, and now... I am Uncle Swampy, and he calls he, me Swampy. He goes, Swampy, Swampy. I think he's making fun of you the way you talk sometimes. He is one of us, though. He, he has, has our sense look. of humor. He has, like, this very intelligent look in his eye. And this he's on to us. Grin, this yep. smirk. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. You also have a dog. That's right. Stevie has a successor. His name is Buddy. Buddy, should I bring Buddy over? Yes. Where Buddy? is he? This is Buddy. He's, He's so cute. Look at him. He's just a mush. Tiny. Oh, gosh, tiny man. He's a little smaller than Stevie. You adopted him. Yeah, a year ago. I didn't think I could do it. I was very devastated when Stevie passed away, and then. I just had this urge. It was just like with Stevie. Something made me look for a dog. Like something was telling me there's a dog out there. And I connected with this lady on Facebook of all places. I was just looking at groups with rescue. And I found a lady who was like very kind. And she was writing to people. You know, give me an idea what you're looking for. It's better. Like we can make better placements. Don't pretend you're okay with yes. a certain breed. Like give, give me specifics. So I said, any dog is fine as long as the dog is okay with kids because I have a little boy. Yes. She sent me this picture. I said, I'll go meet him. She said, if all goes well, will you take him home? That's all she wrote. I said, and okay. I think what really made it special was that Buddy came from Rye. Yeah. Um, all roads lead to Rye. Yeah. That's where Judge Janine Pirro lives. And I'm looking to purchase a house. And <laughs> don't think that Rye is on the top of my list. I think you should. I think so, too. I think, you know what? I was in Rye. Um, That's where I got my marriage license, actually. There was a huge... It's. I'm telling you, Rye, it always comes back. I to go me. to the Target in Rye, too. Do you? Mm -hmm. You're hoping to run into Janine Pierre. I Every time I go, I'm, 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 I'm hoping. Do you see this? He is so cute. He just stays. I like him, too. He's not like a small dog. He's, he's... No, he's like a perfect size. He's extraordinarily patient because my son, he's a toddler. Martha, I can't believe you have a son. <laughs> I know. A human being grew inside me, came out of me. Be glad, guys, I wasn't filming when I was pregnant. I had a very bad Horrible. pregnancy the whole time. I mean, looking back, my doctor said actually everything was pretty normal. But there were so many little things along the way that were so harrowing that, oh, this might be a problem. This might be a problem. There's so much monitoring. What, did you have? what happened? There was the, um, there was one thing. Oh, my God. The polyp? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's so content to just sit here. And you got a good one. I get really lucky with these animals. You do. So I go get him. The people I got him from were ridiculous. Up in Rye. What do you mean? Very rich. Very waspy. Oh, so the girl who was fostering him for about a week. Okay. Very sweet in college, blonde, child, waspy little child kind of. <laughs> the mother shows up from the country club Pearls. in a white tennis outfit. Mm -hmm. Puts her hand out to Mr. Martha. Hi, I'm Caroline. Where are you from? <laughs> like very manly kind of lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To let you know a she's blue like, blood. Yep. <laughs> Good handshake you have there. Yeah. So the girl's like, I'm going to miss him. And she goes, it's only a dog, dear. It's only a dog. It's like you're, uh, you're Luann. She was like that. She was like that. It's only a dog. She was an octave above Luann. Yeah, yeah. My God, Real Housewives. So we're not doing that anymore. The show. I don't watch it. It's over. I, I. There I'm... is no New York anymore. It's gone. No, there's that. The They've just recast it with all those young people. I don't care. I've, I didn't even watch it, but I'm told that it's not organic. None of them really are. No, anymore. they they had lightning in a bottle at one they time. They did. It's over. And I'm I do not like Andy Cohen. Right. I'm, so you got married again. 
I wonder how that's going. Louie. Louie. We do it a hundred times a day. <laughs> she said that, didn't she? And meanwhile, wasn't he in like a cult or something? He's a really, really bad, bad person. Bad. Yeah, yeah, like. Scary. He makes Joe look nice. Yeah. <laughs> My daughters don't really like him. <laughs> To my beloved tree. My beloved. <laughs> what was it? To my beloved do you remember tree. It was like a poem that I made up. Yes, I do remember. Like a cake that is a bun. <laughs> I remember us reenacting that scene in Italy when she and Joe reunited. Yeah, we did a lot, didn't we? Like, didn't I used to pretend I was like Greta Thunberg talking? Anymore? Yes, you did. <laughs> Whatever happened to Greta? I don't know. Puberty. Can Remember you... when Trump told her to lighten up? <laughs> <laughs> Chill, Greta. He's right. Chill, Greta. He's, Chill. he's not wrong. I know, but he's like as about as mature as she is. Oh, I know. Chill, Greta. Chill. <laughs> Should we just do it now? Rip the bandaid off. All right. I'm yeah. I'm beating around the bush because I don't want to make things sad. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Some of you, I don't know how many of you saw us live. Things got a little weird. That's a time I barely remember, really. It was so strange, the lockdown. It was crazy. We lost time. We. It was... Oh, yeah. Like, this four years having gone by is it like was, two. It wasn't bad, I felt like, when I was when I was in it. But looking back on it, it it's so depressing. It's It was really weird. Yeah, yeah. like just being locked in the room, streaming every night because we didn't know what else to do. Uh, yeah. Well, we met somebody. <laughs> Yep, there was a lady, my dear, dear friend. So if those of you who were watching all that, you must remember Miss Michelle. Miss Michelle um, was somebody who used to watch Unkind TV, like the recaps, and then she started participating in these live chats when we would go live. I would like to do that again at some point. I don't yeah, know. I think it would be fun. Are you crying? I'm upset, not yet. I see, I know. I know. You know, this is so horrible. I don't even want she to tell She was our... Her. You have to. Fairy godmother. So we... She was. This person appears in the chat one night. <laughs> and Swampy could see the comments coming in before I could. So I'd be like blathering away as I do. And I'd see him going, Martha, Martha, Martha. Look, look what Miss Michelle wrote. Her very first comment was, I was once beaten by a large Samoan woman. And, and then it was knew. followed up by... <laughs> She was missing a leg. Yeah, she started, like, spinning this tail, you know, that she was, like, 500 pounds, <laughs> hideous, missing teeth, missing a leg. Meanwhile, she was not any She of was a stunningly beautiful, and I'm not exaggerating. No. I'm going to show photos of who she really yeah. was. Um, but I'm sure you've gathered by my use of past tense that this didn't end well. So... She was like the star of our little show. She would call in with the funniest stories, which I have them all. I have to go through it when I'm ready. Yeah. Um, and she and I became like real friends. I mean, I confided in her about everything. She was older than I am. I'm 32 now, by the way. Can you believe this? How old we're getting? I know there's people I'm watching who are like, F you, but. Yeah, but you know what? Time goes by quick. That's all I'm saying. Like when we started doing this, the first time we made a video, I think it was 2017. That would make sense. We were young. I know. It's so where we, we like grew oh up on God. this. It's shocking. And Michelle was in her 60s. And it was like such a good connection because I felt like I could tell her anything. And she came at like the perfect time. Yeah. Too. Because we were going through so much and she knew all my secrets, all my problems with like my man issues. She could relate. She had been through all those things. She and was like an older Martha. In some ways, yeah. yeah, she was. But she stayed close with me, and she loved Swampy. As a matter of fact, she got to see the Stouffer's commercial. She was so proud of you. So proud. I mean, she wrote me and said he was fucking fabulous. She was so proud of you. They, I, she and her sister Franny and brother-in-law Albert, she told me that they felt like they knew you, like this celebrity on TV. <laughs> it was like so much fun to see you Aww. come on the screen. She had survived bladder cancer, which was something she called it her cooter cancer <laughs> on the chats. And I don't know. I You know how I get these weird feelings, Swampy. You did. You I did. used to always be afraid we would lose her like this. I know. I don't know what scared me. I felt like it was this Mickey Mouse doctors where she lived that were going to miss something. And they did. They totally did her wrong. So 
she was suffering. She told me like she was coughing and coughing, coughing and, and driving everyone crazy. With her she, cough. And she had like a bad back or something. Is it was like sciatic? She like, yeah, like hip pain or something. Yep. She said that. And she was very tired all the time. And everybody ignored her like all these. She was a former smoker. She didn't really smoke much, though. And in the end, the type of disease she got wasn't from smoking. But but wasn't she also, what did she do for work? She worked around a lot of chemicals yeah. for the military. Who knows what caused it? No. But if you have a patient in her 60s, can't stop co uh, coughing, has already had cancer, you would think you'd do a scan, right? Yeah. They only did one. It was like right before Thanksgiving. I can, oh my God. Yeah. And her sister told me that. Horrific. Yep. It was like when they did the scan, she had cancer everywhere. Like your worst nightmare. If Right. Like a nightmare scenario. Like, yeah, actually, you have cancer in your brain, in your kidneys, in your liver. The, that cough is lung cancer. The hip pain is cancer in your bones. You actually have a hip fracture from the cancer. I would want to. Oh. Yeah. And the way I feel like they treated Michelle and her family That's the is problem. so wrong. That's my biggest issue with that whole thing. Yeah, it was so overwhelming, and it happened so fast. And I think they gave her six months. She didn't make it that long. That was in November. She also, what, got hospice like a few days before she died? Yeah, because they thought she had longer, and she was so sick. And I think she she died in um, in January. Yeah, that was in I January. I remember. So from Thanksgiving to January, that's it. It was over. And she kept it to herself, too. That's, she didn't tell us. Yep. It was very shocking for us. Yep, I wanted to share that because I kept bothering her, like... I, I was, something was wrong. We would talk all the time. You know, we would message each other and late at night because she was on California time and she was yeah. up late too. So it'd be like midnight her time, 3 a.m. here. Yeah. And I'd be like complaining about my husband or yeah. whatever. Um, and all of a sudden she wasn't answering me as much. And I just, it was really bothering me. And I finally reached out and I was like, are you mad at me? I knew she wasn't, but I was no. just like, what is going on? And I hear from her sister, Franny that she's not feeling well and when the time comes i'll tell you more and i'm like that's it done what do you mean so i said um can you tell me if her bladder cancer came back and then i get back it's much worse than that she's on home hospice i'm like and i sent it to him and we were like floored that message was like a nightmare because i knew something was terribly wrong and the next day i think it was yeah because yep that because i said um because we were hoping we could talk to her at right. least once more. Right. And I didn't want to be super intrusive. No. I think I just worded it like, if if she's up to it, you know, could we say hello? Yeah. And I thought we would be able to. Or I'd like send a video or something. The next day, I texted Franny, how's the patient? And she said, Michelle passed away. Yep. Poor Franny. I know. I feel really bad. I do too. You know, they were so close. And Michelle adored her sister. And Franny... They lived together. I told Franny that we would talk about this. And Franny asked me to make sure that I mention how selfless Michelle was. And I want to say she was. She knew... So she knew right before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving and Christmas go by. I sent a Christmas card. She tells me what a lovely card and how beautiful my son is. Never saying a word. And she didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell... Her other friends, she just kept it to her immediate family and her significant other, Bill. And then she just died like that. I I had such a, like, a feeling like I wish I had known to just tell her how much I love her. But she knew that. And she knew you loved her so much, too. I loved her so much. It just pisses me off. There are so many people who I wish would die. <laughs> it's an endless list. It's so unfair. And she was perfect. She was fucking perfect. When I tell you, well, you'll see the picture. Like, beautiful. She could have been on a soap opera. She and had the so voice. funny, too. Do you remember when she called in? We, we were, were shocked. shocked. Her voice was so beautiful. Like Kathleen Turner. We thought she was going to be like, yeah, it's me, Michelle. No. She called in and Hello, she was like. Hello, George and Martha. Yeah. Hey, George and Martha. Someone wants to tap this ass. <laughs> so I'll call back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Miss Michelle, we love you. I feel like this is one of the reasons why we're doing this again. Yeah, we were thinking about it. And then I, I mean, it's been bothering me for the longest time. Like, I don't know. I always felt like Swampy and I should get the band back together. Yeah. I don't know. We grew up a little. We did. It's fake, though. I'm still me. Yeah. You're still you. <laughs>
we're in Martha's room, and I'm thinking, I wonder how it feels to have a real man in here for once. <laughs> Stop. Poor Mr. Martha has been displaced from his bedroom. On the couch where he belongs. <laughs> So that we could do this. Um, but he's very supportive. He, he likes is. us being creative. Yes, we like Mr. Martha. Sometimes, Sometimes. when he behaves himself. <laughs> he's not so bad. No. But, God, I feel like we had to rip the Band-Aid off with telling them about Michelle. I can't think of a person more undeserving of a fate That's like what's that. so upsetting to me. Michelle, That's what's so upsetting to me. She wasn't jealous of people. She wanted everyone to be happy. She didn't take things too seriously. Nope. She knew when to laugh. She always, she could make me laugh. But I think, do you know what's the irony though, Swampy? That I have severe health anxiety. Oh, yes. I always think something is horribly wrong. I run to the doctor. I get every test imaginable. And she was the one to tell me, you know, you have to calm yourself down, my friend. You're young. Everything's going to be fine. And then she's the one that had the most horrific things you could have. And she was young too. How old was she? 69. 69. It just made me crazier. It was rough. The one person who kept me sane, she I mean, adored you. And she, I know I adored her so much. I remember she sent me, uh, she's sent us a few things, but she one was of so generous. Was, she sent me a coloring book of serial killers. We have to talk about them, by the way. Oh, we do. A That's... lot to talk about there. Um, she adored you. Yep, right. she bought you the coloring book crayons she used to send me like nice makeup tom ford makeup oh, really chanel i kept every gift she ever sent me remember when she got the switch the nintendo switch to play with you yep yeah. she knew about buddy she was so thrilled that i got buddy i just wish we could have spoken to her again you know what's funny one of the last conversations i got to have with her i didn't know she was dying buddy's rocket came out and i didn't know that dogs get like a knot that looks like like a little rocket under it when they get an erection. Yeah, like his little lipstick comes out and then underneath it looks like, like a dildo. Oh my God. Yeah, so I told her about it. I said, what is this? And she was cracking up and she told me, she's like, I've seen that. And then she had one whose rocket came out. I wouldn't go back in and the dog was howling and howling and the vet told her to rub sugar on it. And she was like, what do you mean? <laughs> that actually does work. I looked she it gave up. her dog a hand job. I don't think she did it. Um, but oh. I told her, I Googled dog sugar penis. <laughs> I, I'm like, look at this stuff you have me Googling. But I was thinking, God, I didn't know. It's one of the last times I'm ever talking to I mean, her. that is, is fitting. Nonsense. I know. That is fitting. It's just, and I, I don't know. I just hope, I don't really think much about an afterlife. But when it comes to someone like Miss Michelle, I hope that there's like a heaven. I did dream about her. And then you it You told stopped. me that. I dreamt that I was talking with her sister, Franny. A texting and that Michelle was writing too, but her her bubble looked different, and she was trying. She was typing like ha ha. She would always type out ha ha like how you do. She yeah. Do LOL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And saying, I can see what you're saying. I can see what you're and laughing and laughing, and I feel like if there's an afterlife, which I hope there is for her. Also, my lights went out. I was playing. I remember you telling me that. Out. But then it all stopped. I've had that experience before, though, where, like, I, somebody I know passes away, there's a lot of activity, and then yeah. it all stops. Yeah. Like, they check on their loved ones one more time and say goodbye. Yeah. Remember when we called the pet psychic after Blake had died? We called some psycho who was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll communicate with your cat. Mine's in the freezer. Mine's in the freezer. I got to bury him soon. I might be suing the vet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your cat's fine. That was so awful. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, I told Buddy, you know, hang hang tight because the pets of Unkind TV have had a rough go. Well. Blanket, and then you gave Stevie cancer. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Stevie didn't like me. <laughs> she was just nervous, I think. she. So Buddy is also a rescue. Um, He's a little more normal. Stevie was, like, really badly abused. She had been in puppy mills and stuff, so she was a little bit more skittish. Uh, Buddy had one owner in New Mexico. Oh, really? He Yeah, he his owner was this old mean man who oh. died. And Buddy was born because the owner's like best buddy was his mom. His crown jewel. Oh. Cool, but he never got her fixed and she'd go out and get pregnant. So he's a little bastard child. We don't know who his papa is. But he's half Bassett. I know the mom's Bassett. Oh, yeah, mom got adopted right away because she was really friendly. Yeah. He has a sister. 
Who's the sister here in Rye? No, or... the sister. They had to send her for special training. She was so fearful and messed up. Oh, that... I hope she got a good home. You know what? I would have taken them both. You would have. She was really cute, too. That's I what feel happened bad with Blanche. Because I went to get baby boy, and he was in a cage with Blanche. And I thought, no, i got to take them both. Oh, and he's the last man standing. And he's an awful, awful person. Cat. He's whatever. cute, though. And then when he like loses his voice from meowing so much, he just does. I know I've seen him do that. Like he's chewing gum. He gets a froggy voice from yeah. meowing. He goes. Sounds like a Lane Stretch. <laughs> he does it like a Lane He's so sweet. You should hear him at the door though. He's like. He did that earlier. But I love it because, like, if somebody tries to break in, it sounds like there's a vicious animal in here. Then you open the door and it's this. We left Mr. Martha in charge of my child, which I don't like doing. No, you don't trust Mr. Martha? I do, but I don't trust anyone. You know what it is? Like, I, well, no, I would trust my mother, but I feel like, it, I don't, you know, men. No, I know. I know. But he and my husband are so close. So All he does is ask about him when he goes to work. All day. He gets up asking me about him. Really? Daddy, daddy. Mr. Martha. He calls him by his name. I love it. Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard. Oh. What happened? Was that Mr. Martha at the door? What do you hear? You might hear my son in the background. Beef boy. Buddy. Beef boy is very cute. He, he looks like a Victorian doll. He's beautiful. Yeah. It's so crazy. He has these big blue eyes. He's like E.T. And I never, ever, ever in a million years thought that I'd have a child with blue eyes. I know. Well, apparently... Sam Shepard doesn't have blue eyes. No, no. What did your neighbor say to you earlier? Oh, I. You know, some people. I. He doesn't mean anything by it. He really doesn't. I like. I think you pegged it. It's. It's like really awkward, bad flirting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a nice man, but he refers to me as the nanny. He says that I look too Hispanic to be this child's mother because my son looks very Irish. He does. Like, really Irish. He's but you don't fr- say that. He says it to me every time he sees me. He calls me Consuela. What's funny is, like, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah. It's so strange that he's hung up on this. But I think it's just like you said, a bad, yeah. bad attempt at humor. Yeah. Every time he sees me, he says, where's the child's real mother? We took a little break. Uh, I had to help Mr. Martha put... Beef boy to sleep. I knew the toothbrushing wasn't going to happen. It was so much worse than I even anticipated. I gave him pajamas. I was like, get him ready for bed. I made like Cuban shrimp for dinner. There was shrimp juice all over his hands. Orange smears all over his face. Yeah, I did notice that earlier. Smelling shrimp. Yeah. Um, still wearing the dirty t-shirt from dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm like, where's the pajamas I gave you? I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. So I had to go in and save the and then the tooth brushing, forget it. No. Does he not like it? Do you have to force him? Well, often I have to talk about you. Like I hold him in my lap and I do it like like the he's in front of me like this. Backwards. Yeah. And I go, so whoopy. Swamp bay. Yeah. Do that again. Swamp bay. What? What? What's so funny about that? You're a natural. Wow, you're a horrible person. Have you seen those things, those like joke TikTok things, um, like people pranking their grandparents? Like, Grandma, did you know you can taste salt if you pretend you're shaking salt in your mouth? Try it. If I... Just pretend you have a salt yeah, shaker. Uh-huh. I, I'm aware of, of what you're uh, trying to do. I don't know. Does it make you... Uh... <laughs> you know, we're filming in my bedroom. And when Mr. Martha said, good luck, guys, um, I told him that I was going to S his D. And he said, oh, I'd like to see that. He did. He said, you should put it on OnlyFans and make some money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we would. He also said, oh, I, I know some people who'd, who, who'd pay money. He's right. He does. Oh, I think your neighbor would. Oh, I think so. If I had, like, look at all the neighbors on my block and say, which one secretly has, like... I think most of them. You think I I've thought about it? Yes. With you? Yeah. Yes, I do. Really? I do. Yes. I feel like they're all on too many antidepressants to even care. I'm on too many antidepressants. I guess I don't. I don't want you. 
But you're still younger. I'm sorry, like middle aged parents really loaded up on into the. See what I see libido. there, I but I see midlife crisis. Like maybe it's like their fantasy, like but... Kevin Spacey kind of thing in American Beauty. Yes, one hundred percent. By the way, Martha. Yes. I watched. Kevin? Well, there's a new Hitler documentary on uh, Netflix, yeah. and there's footage of Hitler, old as, as uh, you know, like like towards the end of his life. He looks identical to Kevin Spacey. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I still like that I made you say that was your prototype. Yeah, very triggering. Well, you, you know what? It was a compliment because... He's good. He's a... Remember, do you know... Do, have you people seen him performing mind games? I tell everybody this, like an old lady. Have you seen Kevin Spacey doing mind I games? I know. But he was so good. It was like a 9-11 memorial concert. Yeah. He was a gifted guy. He was. He had a real, and I watched the series about him, and it, he had a really horrible. Hor His father was an, actually a white supremacist. Kevin Spacey's dad. His father, I can't say the word. Um, his father did things to his brother. Like that? No. Like salt shaker. Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah, a horrible upbringing. So I and mean, then he went on to do it to young actors. And he went on to do it to young actors. It's horrible. That's I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Salt shaker, <laughs> terrible euphemism we came up um, with. Um, but then he did you see him I'm on Pierce Morgan crying? No. <laughs> he has no money. He's broke. He's living in Baltimore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mm mm. See, this is what we're gonna do now because I think Housewives is boring, and I don't have the mental bandwidth anymore to recap a show, especially not a bad one. Housewives isn't funny anymore. It needs a total revamping, and I don't think it'll ever happen. And I hate no. Andy Cohen. He wants to take over Howard Stern. Did you hear that? He's no Howard. He's I no. know he works at XM. He doesn't have Howard's charm. I know Howard is, you know, the show's slowing down a little bit. He's 70. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be the same as it was in 1995. No. But no. He, no, no. Andy is not Howard. Even Howard in a retirement home would be better than Andy. Howard, can you imagine Andy interviewing Barbara Streisand? Barbie would awful. have no respect for him, I don't think. No. Do the face. Yeah. I'm the stoner. <laughs> and, you know, and he, he has those kids. Yeah, he's on Grinder with these two little kids. He was. Remember the video of him in the club, like, playing with some guy's nips? The thing is, like, that's not the behavior that bothers me. A lot of people said it was homophobic, all the criticism. I would feel that way if he were doing that with a woman, too. I just feel like when you have two little kids at home, why are you out late, like fondling people in public i don't know I, and what about him filming his kid while driving you talk that, about that yeah he's like making well i don't first of all i don't think people put their kids on social media no. to be funny no. anyway the kid's having a tantrum andy's driving him to camp and andy's you can see him holding the phone it's not on like a, a filming stand but she car. lied and tried to say it was no you could see he's holding it i just he's i think he's misogynistic oh he hates Big women time. Just the, those reunions, like, he stirs the pot and then he sits back like my father. Like, oh, all this drama. I don't know what's going on. Know, Are you like, fighting? Ladies, ladies. ladies. Yeah, right. When he creates it and gets them drunk. I do believe the allegations. Oh, I do him. too. What's her name? Leia. Um, Leia. Uh, yeah, I believe that 100%. I, you know, I, there's people that criticize those lawsuits, like, oh, they're just looking for clout. They are, of course, but it still doesn't, I mean, I think it's, it's true. Yeah, it is, 100%. Oh my God, Swampy. So I was just thinking we can just talk about anything we want. And, you know, I'm sorry to those of you who signed up for the Housewives talk. We still love you, but we're not doing that anymore. We're just going to shoot the shit. Yeah. I mean, maybe something will come up here and there. But... Yeah, like anything. I thought we could talk about current events or like anything that tickles our fancy. Yeah. Speaking of tickling, <laughs> I'm sure your friend uh, may have had that on one of his search engines. Oh, so... We got to talk. Can we talk? You guys know I was obsessed, still am, with the Long Island serial killer. They caught him. I, I should have brought my newspaper up here. I saved the post that day with his picture. They it? got him. It's in the basement oh. where he kept his victims. You know, and it looks like he did them all. They, last summer, they charged I him with... them all, of course. Yeah, Robert Durst. No, they, they charged him with the Gilgo Four because there were four women that were... What are we supposed to say? Unalived at the yeah. same time. I know that is the, you know, like we're getting dumber as a society. It's so. It's... Brevity is the soul of wit. And now it's 2024 and we have to use extra language to say the same thing. So you don't offend. I know. People. Now you have to say salt shaker. 
Right. You can't just say what it is. You wanted to talk about that earlier. You said there's a term you're not a fan of. Oh, oh. Happy Pride. Oh, Happy Pride. A Newsmax, a Newsmax, like reporter proposed to his girlfriend, and he posted on Instagram and it was something like, "I put pride in its place this month for proposing to his girlfriend." I don't oh, know. really? Oh, the word queer. I'm so queer. I'm queer. I hate it. I hate it. You don't so reclaim that word. I do not reclaim that word, and I'm no. You know why? Because everybody uses it now. Like I've heard a straight woman say she's queer. It's like, no, you're just ugly. Like, you have ugly hair. You don't wash your hair. Like, that's about as queer as it gets There's for you. There's a lot of that. I know. Do You don't understand. You don't understand what it's like growing up gay. Don't no, say you're there's queer. A lot of, I know. People glom onto that. Like, it's... I know. Like, no. it, it's an accessory. You're just dumpy. You're dumpy. You have horrible taste, and now you're queer. Right. And you know the difference. It makes me upset. It really does. No, I know. I know. It reminds me of Hilaria. Oh, like no, it's people... Mar Martha, it's Ilaria. It's Ilaria. Alec. How you say? Pew, pew. Pew, pew. How you say pew, pew? Um, <laughs> bitty, bitty, bang, bang. Yep. Yep. Alec. The Baldwinitos. The Baldwinitos. I can't even. And you know what is a gift to us? You know, I lied. We are going to cover reality television. Oh, we both certainly are. If it ever happens. It's going to get canceled. Oh, yeah. He's going to go to jail. He he is, right? I think he, there's actually he a good possibility of this. He is such a scum. He deserves it. That <sighs> poor woman, by the way. I Alina watched, Hutchins. I watched the um the sentencing of the armorer and her, Alina's. She was awful, too. Oh, she was horrible. But Alina's friend spoke. It was so sad. But anyway, it does make me sad because I think about like a child, right? I have a little boy and now that little boy has no mom. Like, I'm so close to my son. Yes. I can't even imagine I know. <laughs> because Alec Baldwin decided that he didn't need to do the training with the guns. It was OK to just FaceTime Ilaria and his seven Baldwinitos all day. How do you say up... surrogate? <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, well, they've admitted to one surrogate. Wait, they haven't admitted to all of them? Be She's claiming to have birthed all of them? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, Martha. Yeah. Oh, no, she gave birth and she, she bounced back like that. She's a horrible person. Well, some people like to tear down women. Oh, is that what she says? I do yoga. Oh. She said she did yoga on her feet and that's why her feet didn't get bigger during pregnancy. I'm not a fan of surrogacy. No, I'm not either. I'm not. I think it's wrong. I do too. I I'm granted I'll probably have a child via series. But you know what? I could still I'll find it. I'll spend the whole time. Uh, it's going to happen. <laughs> Your rent a womb. <laughs> I would support you no matter what. But I do feel like there's something very creepy about it. Especially like after having a baby. You're never the same. There's things about my body that are totally different. Oh, people are doing it for money. That's why. Right. I'm like... Maybe surrogacy if it's like someone who's volunteering to do it and they really want to do it for you. But like, I feel like being able to pay somebody for that is so exploitative. And I don't want a third person involved. It's like, you know what I mean? All these men, Andy Cohen, Anderson Cooper, and they try to make it a gay issue, by the way, which it's not. It's actually a money issue because look at Paris Hilton. Yeah. The surrogate and Ilaria. Yeah. It's often a... And I think there are many celebrities who hide it. Who fake pregnancy, they wear bumps and they act like they're having children. Anyway, what were you going to say? No, I'm sure. But I'm saying, like, it's almost always a woman who needs the money. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's horrible. And I believe in overpopulate. We're overpopulated. I would it, love to adopt a child, actually. I would, you know. I would. Maybe I'll adopt yours after I call CPS on you. Anyway, when you said that, like, you don't appreciate when people are full of it and just use this label. Yes. To get away with looking disheveled. Uh -huh. <laughs> it reminded me of Ilaria. I am obsessed. I admit it. It's like this weird fixation I have. How could you not be? Her name is Hillary Hayward Thomas. From Massachusetts. She grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> she pronounces no, it? No, I'm just being an ass. How you say? I, yeah, how you say uh, cucumber? <laughs> This lady has brought this all on herself. Like people started to put it together. It was during COVID. Or no, right before COVID, I think. I think it was the Christmas before COVID hit that 
the whole thing blew up. Because she, I re, yes, yes. How did it? Was she? Was she was or were they the, in lockdown? All I know is that somebody got the ball rolling on social media. Uh, it was Amy Schumer, and I don't even like Amy Schumer, but I'll give her this. Amy Schumer made fun of a post Ilaria made with her fake bounce back body. So look, I'm not saying some women don't bounce back well. Like your sister, your sister has like a good figure on her. She's skinny naturally. Like you would say, she bounced back pretty well. Yeah, right? I would say, yeah. Some people are just like that. It just it's for the person, right? Not after six kids. There is not a soul on this planet that doesn't have either work done or some. You don't have a baby and pose like when you. Okay, so I'm sure many of you watching have had children. I know when I had a baby, I was walking around with a giant diaper, like suffering for weeks with a little pooch that takes a very long time. And it's still and they to this stitched day. It's, you, didn't they stitch you too? Yes, they did. <laughs> I could have done a better job. <laughs> nice and tight. Yep. Anyway, but also, didn't she have kids like one right after the yeah. other? So I don't. How, is that even possible? How horrible as this. She had a baby, and at the same time, had one cooking in a surrogate, and it was delivered during COVID. You paid someone to get pregnant during COVID because you wanted two babies close in age to pretend you had twins. What are you, Joan fucking Crawford? Remember the twins sitting yes, there I a do. year apart with different mothers? Yes. It's crazy. But then on to so that I think. Amy Schumer uh, made a joke. Like, she posted herself, like, all fat and bloated and bleeding after having a baby. It was, like, making fun of Hilaria's yeah. post where Hilaria's like, me and my newborn baby, and I'm so tiny and small, yeah. Alec. I'm your little baby, Alec. Uh-huh. She's disgusting. That's what got the ball rolling, because Eladia acted all, like, offended by the post. Of course, yeah. Well, that's it. That's now karma. That's karma. And now karma. Amy Schumer makes fun of them, too. Good. That's the one thing I like about her. Good. It's like they all have very Spanish names, like Hamon. <laughs> she that's it's insane, and they're the whitest babies you've ever seen. I don't understand how Alec could be okay with that. Do you know what she writes to people on Instagram? Like what? people who believe she was Spanish. First of all, her complexion looks very tan. It's fake. Yeah. She puts on tanner. She's been caught doing that. Which, yeah. That's fine. Just don't pretend that's like. Oh, it's, it's, she she's like cosplaying. Like she's actually it's like sick. like Sofia Vergara. She made a post on Martin Luther King Day asking her daughter. She put her fake tan hand next to her daughter's arm and was like, so do you sick. think it's okay that people treat someone differently because of the color of their skin, Carmen? That's sick. It's so sick. I, you know, She he, says she's confused for the nanny all the time. It's funny because the neighbor does that to me, but he's being, you know. She's not confused. He's awkwardly flirting with his comments, I think. And she's all over. She, I love how she hates the paparazzi. Not, she just hates the paparazzi. Not a single person has ever mistaken her for a nanny. No. Nope. Oh, the paparazzi. So when Alec got in trouble for shooting someone <laughs> to death, which I don't. I don't know how you call that an accident. Do I think he intended to kill someone? Of course not. But by being that negligent, and there were reports on set, like people were complaining that the set was all willy-nilly, dangerous. Yeah. That there were guns going yeah. off by themselves. Like this was a really like Mickey Mouse operation. And there was footage of him, Alec, freaking out about about how amateur it was at one point too. There's also footage of him dancing around with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> so when something like this happens, like, how can you pretend like you're a victim in all this? You're an asshole. Yeah. He's a giant asshole. And so is she. So anyway, paparazzi all over their building asking questions. She puts herself front and center. There was a video. They ran away to Vermont. The paparazzi I found I remember. Them. Alec shut her up. He was like, excuse me. Excuse me. Because she kept trying to say, you don't even care about her. What's her name? Helena. Her name is Helena. Like say her name, the woman who died. I can't stand it. And then a Alex sort of got all buddy buddy or attempted to get all buddy buddy with her husband. That and didn't son. last. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what she posted like right after this happened? What? A picture of her and her son, Ilaria. And she me. wrote that he said to her, This is the caption, I need life with you, mama. She's sick. Yeah, I know. I know. Horrible person. And I can't get over this. And now they're doing a reality show. He must really need money. He mu they must be broke. And he he has a, a podcast still, doesn't he? He does. Here's the Thing, I think it's called. She's had several podcasts that fell apart. They were going to do one together called What's One More. <laughs> That's it. It's also, it's like abuse, too. You can't be a good parent with so many children. I'm sorry, you can't. No, she's always posting them, like, upset. 
she finally stopped posting though. I think that she's upset because there's a whole Reddit subreddit about her where people like pick apart every post and how crazy she is. Well, she fakes breastfeeding. Like she'll smush the baby against her no. boob. Yeah, so that she could show off her cleavage. And like, if you've nursed a baby, you know when a baby's latched. She's like shoving her boobs in their face for the photo. It's it's insane. And I get it. She paints it like, I'm trying to normalize breastfeeding. In mi cultura, we breastfeed openly. That's not normalizing breastfeeding. Normalizing breastfeeding is like when I used to have to sit at the table and nurse my son and eat it like a slice of pizza with one hand, okay? It is what it is. And tell everybody, look away. Um, her posting pictures in her, like, lacy pink bra. She's disgusting. Making bedroom eyes at the camera and stuff. First of all, you don't wear a lacy pink bra. My boobs I'm were, sure. like, exploding in agony. Yeah. I was dying. It was so bad. I remember, like, I'd had, like, clogged ducts. Oh, stuff. I remember. <gasps> I remember that photo. Yep. That was horrifying. Yeah. Addie got the same thing at one point. It's horrible. One time oh I was God. bleeding so much the mink milk turned pink. And the doctor told me it's safe for the baby. But I was horrified. Because it's just, it's painful. That's the reality. Not for Ilaria. No, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful With my, my baby. With my sexy Latina bra. I have so much milk. She's like, all I wanted from Alec was a freezer. I need an extra freezer because I'm making so much milk. That's her other flex. Swampy. She needed another freezer. She's a sicko. Like, she pretends she makes so much breast milk. She needs extra freezers for all her milk from her voluptuous Spanish tetas. You know? All this leche. <laughs> How is Alec still alive? I honestly, when I see he him... He looks miserable. I would unalive i know myself. he looks really miserable i mean you really you really you blew it you did what does martha say you really what did she say to george you really fixed it you really fixed it well very good george well, really good you did a good job think, you really fixed it. i didn't have to sell us hampton's house I they're think trying so. to <laughs> when you are pretending you make all this milk i now know Breastfeeding's very hard. It does not come naturally. It sucks. The baby doesn't do it right. You, They're like not gaining enough weight or you're trying to pump and not getting anything. It's very difficult to get the hang of it. And there's so many women that feel enormously guilty because they're not making enough milk. I know. And they feel guilty. It's Society is such bullshit. It used to be that formula was considered the thing to do. Yeah. And only those savages walk around with a baby on their breast. You know, that's what the poors do. Uh -huh. Now, you need the uh, income to stay home to devote the time to breastfeeding. And it's people who are lower income who use formula. And they shame you if you use formula. I used both. I would use formula. Although I was pretty screwed swampy. When I had my son, it was the formula crisis. There was <gasps> nothing. I that's why I was bleeding. I remember. I was trying everything to get the hang of it. Uh, I remember that very well. Yeah. They, like, there was all this bacteria. Yeah. Babies died. I remember sending Mr. Martha to the store because I wanted backup formula because I was scared. My baby was a little bit small, so I wanted to make sure he was eating enough. And I'm like, just get formula so I have it. And he's like, that's funny. I don't see anything. Let me try another store. Store after store, I've started no, no formula. I remember somebody else having that issue. Yeah, it was common. That's right. You <laughs> did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that person mentioned to me something about, if you find it, let me know. And also, you're going to have to pay for it <laughs> and deliver it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and it wasn't for, it was for somebody else, too. Yeah, somebody else. Yeah. Somebody I know. Oh, by the way, this person also posted pictures of their milk. The stash. People who do that. You're an asshole. It's very insecure. That is so mean, though, because I actually know people who had trouble producing milk and use formula and felt like great shame. I'm like, why? I'm like, I was ready to throw in the towel. I, I had no choice. Yeah. But honestly, like, if I ever did it again, I, that remains to be seen. But if I did, I would 100% use formula from the beginning. For, I would, like, do both. Yeah. Do a little nursing and do a little formula yeah. feeding. If possible. If not, who cares? There's a saying, fed is best. People are like, breastfed is best. No, fed is best. If your baby's fed. It doesn't and matter. Do what's best for your sanity. Just feed it. I can't wait for you to have a kid. It's going to happen. Do you think I'll have to help you? I think you and... and um, I think you will. I have to come up with a code name for your fella. Well, I think you guys are going to be fine with your baby. 
I think so. I think so. You, Because you know what? The timing worked out really well where various women in your life had babies at the exact same time and you have these relationships with them. It gave you experience. You didn't have all this baby experience before. No, I didn't. And on top of it, I think I, I, I watching them, it's like, oh, I see what I would do as a kid. What, what, what I don't want to do and what I do want to do. Is that what you look at with me? I look at you and I think I do not want to be like her. <laughs> This, this toxic, you know, a lot of triangulating. Oh, really? I, am. I just see a traumatized... I think you're going to be a granola head. No. No. Sc no screen time. Organic only. Making treats from scratch. I want to be a strict parent. How <laughs> strict? I had no... I got away with, with anything, with everything no, when I, I was know, a kid. No, I know. I know. kids be. need structure. Yeah. They'll be good. You're going to be loving. Yeah. And you have your fella. He's good, too. My fella, yeah. and He's uh, very nurturing. He is, yeah. I think he'll do the, the brunt of it. I mean, I'm going to walk in on him, like, trying to breastfeed him, but... Chest feed? <laughs> oh, sorry, chest feed, yeah. You mean chest feeding? So I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know what's so funny about that, Mr. Martha. <laughs> These Republicans are so horrible. Do you remember Pete Buttigieg when they had the twins? Yeah. And they were like sick babies. And they stuff. were. One almost died. And Lauren Boebert was attacking them on Twitter. She was like, I don't know why the Secretary of Transportation isn't here. He's probably home trying to chest feed him. <laughs> She's a horrible person. Yeah, I feel like, well, she just, fuck you. She, she you was were just at a, re like, get, Yeah, getting a hand job at, at Beetlejuice the musical. Yeah. First of all, who would go to a musical of Beetlejuice? Never mind. Have you seen the sequel commercial, the preview, no. the trailer? It looks good. Well, I'm excited. Did I even talk about Rex? You remember? Nope. I, went on the I think we need to go on into. All right. So Rex has. They've definitely proven now. He's been operating since at least the 90s. There was a body nobody had thought was related to this case, Sandra Castilla, and they found his hair on her. All these years later, they realized it was him. How did they just realize that now? Because now, well, now they have him. So now that they have a hair, they're able to match it to him. Basically, they had this DNA, and they were just waiting until they got a break. And then they yeah. found him, and they're like, you know, let's see if it was him. It yeah. was. His searches, they released it in the bail document. So Nancy Grace read all this. I'm going to look it up. It's. I'm sorry, but some of it is not terrible. It's probably what you look at. Well, up. I love Nancy Grace. I love Nancy almost as much as Janine. So just hearing her explain what a twink is. Yeah, well, you know why I think they included that he searched for twink, Asian twink porno? Because one of the victims is an Asian male that was in women's clothing. I, I didn't know that. Yep. When he was first arrested, they released the bail document, which explains what they had on him, why they arrested him. And they included his internet searches. Among them was this search for Asian twink. And there's definitely a reason they included that because one of the victims, they, they are not sure if it's a transgender person or what, but it is a male body with women's clothing. I have a theory about that though. When you hear about the other searches. Right. there's. Oh God, he is ugly. It's so weird. Cause I saw there was like a, a YouTube interview with him years ago, just about his job. And it's just so shocking. I'm he has a, he has a bad speech about him. It sounds like Elmer Fudd. I'm Wexy woman. I'm an architect. Yep. But it's just so weird. Can you imagine that beast on top of you? <gasps> well, you know, he tortured them. Yeah. It's bad. There's like, you know, he, I think because of, they found recently, they, when they charged him again, they found like this manifesto he wrote. Like he was writing out instructions for himself on what to do. And he wrote about using thumbtacks or tape to like put up tarps in his basement for when he, you know, unalive them. and Thumbtacks rather than tape? Whatever he wrote, yeah. they found it. Like holes from where he had pinned up the tarp and oh little pieces God. of tape from where he wasn't as good as he thought. As, you know, they're often so dumb. No. So he starts like, why hasn't the Long Island serial killer been caught? Long Island killer, update, all the victims. Remember when I used to get those creepy phone calls? Yes, I do. Oh, here it yeah. is. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll never forget you sending me this. Okay, so he was looking up. Mistress Long Island, mature escorts, Manhattan, girl begging for salt shaker, uh, right, non-consensual, teen girl begging for non-consensual, 
relations. Pretty girl with bruised face. Torture redhead. Ten-year-old schoolgirl. He's not laughing at the ten-year-old schoolgirl. No. It's that this next I'm one. Laugh. It's because Nancy Grace read this live. That's why he's laughing. Yeah. All right. All right. All Do right. it as Nancy. I don't even know what what's hentai. I don't know, but I what was I watching something and it and it was like a he's like a young Asian kid in his twenties. He said he learned about sex through hentai, so it must be like some porn anime porn. anime porn. He wrote. Nancy Grace said, hentai, plump, blank, lips, cut off. And then skinny redhead tied up, short fat girl tied up, tied up and, uh, you know, non-consensual. Yeah. Asian twink tied up. That one is. Yeah. And, the, yeah, oh. Tied, I can't even read no. this. How did she do it? Tied slave, force fed, salt shaker. Girl hogtied, torture, 10-year-old blonde hair girl, chubby 10-year-old girl, black girl 10 years old, girl with face beat up, chubby 10-year-old girl crying, 13-year-old girl, 13-year-old school girl, age 12 child girl with blonde hair, blue eyes, blonde hair girl, young depressed. There was another there one. Was, like, it was like a, it was like, yeah. Old janitor, like. It, with a schoolgirl in his closet. Yeah, that's weird. That's not in his, I don't think it said in his closet you added that. Very creative. The reason I think he went after the Asian male, to me, what he's looking for is a childlike body. And all the victims were tiny. So he wrote small is good for the purposes, I guess, of like to subdue. Yeah. And to pack them up and all that. But I think. It was also about looking for someone like a child. Yeah. Yeah. Then this like scammy uh, lawyer who's like glommed onto this John Ray. You know that guy with like the ponytail and the yes, funny outfits? Yes. He had a press conference recently talking about Victoria Humerman, Rex's daughter, and like blaming her for all this. What? Yeah. He said that she was in on it. She was a child at the time. Like in the bail documents, they mention how like the family was always away every time he did this. At one point... They were away on a school trip. They or something. could probably match up the murders. They did with the dates that they were away. Yep, yeah, they did. And his poor wife. And people blame her too. She was in on it. What is with people with this misogyny where they like they always want the woman to have been in on it? Yeah, that is weird. I don't know what that would be about. I just think it's mommy issues. Like, were you abused and you think your mother knew and didn't help you? Yeah, it's, it's like an thing. anger. Yeah. I don't believe. Now, people are mad, too, because she got like a million dollars from Peacock to do a documentary. Good. Why is it okay for Dateline to make money? Why is it okay? Like, they're like, well, what about the victims? Well, I feel the victim's family should be compensated, too. Get an agent. Somebody yeah. should be representing them. Like, whoever is a Gloria Allred. Well, Gloria, get your clients a deal. Yeah. Hello. Absolutely. Like, they've been through a lot. They should be compensated. Yeah. Rex's wife has two types of cancer. She has breast cancer and she has skin cancer. <gasps> she has, an, she has yes, no money, no health insurance. He was responsible for all of that. She doesn't work because she has an adult son who has severe yeah. developmental delays. He's like 30 years old or something. Yeah. And very dependent on her. That poor guy. I remember the picture. She was crying outside the house. Horrible. All confused. Her daughter. I mean, imagine this is your dad. The daughter can't work, right? How could you work? No. I wouldn't be able to hold down a job. He is such a scumbag. But then, like, she took this deal. People like, she got a million dollars. I'm like, that That's money nothing. isn't for him. It is in New York. It's nothing. Especially when you have to pay for cancer treatment. You have to relocate your family. That doesn't go very far at all. It's, no. When you have cancer, especially. She deserves more, I think. I don't have a problem with them telling their story, and I don't think it's right for people to blame them nope, for anything. No, I don't either. Oh, John Ray. You know what, John Ray? Go scratch. How low to try and blame the daughter? Yeah, that's disgusting. By the way, Peacock makes good documentaries. Yeah, and you know what? She has said she'd like to see things play out, and people are blaming her. I'm like, maybe she's been told to say that for the sake of the suspense unfolding 100%. the documentary. 100%. I don't believe for a second they think the the rex is innocent i think it's obvious at this point and how can you also it's, uh, I... and her hair was on a body They're like she was there hair gets everywhere yeah and he was using tape yeah and putting these women in his car and stuff people are stupid. his wife and daughter have long hair i know you should see the things people say on I, I yeah no it would drive me crazy trashing them trashing That's them disgusting. i don't know what would possess oh my god there's more <gasps> oh no 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 <laughs> 
Asian escorts. There it is again. How I was assaulted audio. Stories of assault audio. Long Island mistress BDSM. I mean, he was into torture. Yeah. Young twink tied up again. Oh, yeah. The autopsy photos. Yeah. Swampy. I waited for so long for them to get this guy. He's not going anywhere. And I feel really sorry for the families. I do, too. And for his family. His wife. I don't get why people hate her so much. That's cruel. I People think they were in on this. No, together. 100% I don't believe that. They laid out, law enforcement laid out very clearly how every single time one of these women went missing, the family was away. She was originally from Iceland, so she used to take the kids oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah. He had the place to himself all summer. Oh, dad's hard working. You know what he referred to it as in his manifesto? Playtime. I'm not, yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me. My playtime. Whatever he did to these women, they suffered very badly because they were mutilated. Their bodies all that over. Do you know when his trial starts? No, because now it's going to be delayed because now they added more victims. And there will be more. I think, I think so too, right? I think he's going to turn out to have been one of the most prolific of all time. Because of the incompetence of the Suffolk County Police Department. That's what time. it is. It's like the perfect storm. Oh my God. Remember what happened the day he was arrested? Yes. Somebody, what, what, he, was, he, was, he had just been released from prison? The Suffolk County Police Chief, Jimmy Burke... That a lot of people thought was the guy behind this because yeah. he also was into like torture porn and yeah. very violent and addicted to going to sex workers and stuff like that. It's not him. He's just a pathetic loser. He's up there with your boy Hunter Biden. Somebody who can't stop destroying himself. He's a drug addict, I all love that. Hunt. I feel so bad for him. I do too. But, but anyway. Jimmy Burke is so self destructive that the day this news broke he was wandering around a park on Long Island exposing That's right. himself. I saw that. And soliciting sex. He walked up to a man and said, I love sucking dick. Yeah. Wasn't me. He actually, I was the man he walked up to. <laughs> and I said, sir, not right now. I've been getting way too many requests yeah. and I don't have time. You wanted to talk about Hunter. I don't like how the Republicans are going after him. The Republicans, well, modern Republicans are yes. not what they used to be. No, like they're... Joe Biden was very friendly with a lot of them. These are people that would love Hunter to relapse and die. 100%. Because they know how he feels about his family. I heard him on a podcast recently. For people, everyone thinks he's senile. He seems to remember an awful lot, if you ask me. He talked yeah. about his, his first wife yeah. and the accident. He can't talk about Bo. He starts crying. He loves his son so yeah. much. Yeah. And they want to hurt him. They want to hurt him with Hunter. And I think Hunter deserved what he got. I do, too. I do, too. And I was glad that he was convicted because... I am, too. You know, our former president is a convicted felon yeah. now. 34 yes. times. Yeah. You know, once, twice, twice. 34 Four times time a the felon. felon. Yep. I hate you. <laughs> I can't believe we're still dealing with this. Oh my he came God. down the escalator in 2015. With a rent -a crowd. It's 2024. We it's almost even a met. decade. Martha, we, I don't think we knew each other when he came down the nope. elevator. We met like right after about. Right before the election. I remember that night you drove me home. We drove past Trump Tower. And it's still dealing. I can't believe this. We're still hearing about this moron. Michelle is gone and Donald lives. Yeah, you know, I'm sure some people think, like, when we say she didn't deserve it, well, who would deserve that? Oh, Rex Huerman deserves to get yeah. cancer all over his body. There's a lot of people. Yeah. That Look, I'm holding your hand. I just Aww. got very romantic with you. Oh, it's like Mr. Martha's time. not going to approve of this. Yeah, look, it looks like... Remember when we kissed? A little kiss. A little coffee. A little moment to pray. A Sunday morning's always started that way you know me and mr martha kind of do that really yeah you know how i have that little coffee machine in here yes i'm a spoiled brat i can't get up uh, well no in fairness to me the layout of this house is like it's a long trek to the kitchen yeah i need caffeine in my veins immediately so he set up an espresso so i, I could think... get a little something first thing yeah when he hears he gets up before me so when he knows i'm up he comes up here and he lets me have a little coffee. He sits in this chair that we're defiling right now. Yeah. And uh, we talk. I attack him verbally. Good. A little prayer. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, when I came down the stairs, and that's when you shove him down the stairs. What do we think of J-Lo and, uh, I almost said A-Rod. She's been with oh so many God. guys. You know what? 
I don't like J Lo. I really don't. I don't but I either. feel like Ben gets too much of a pass here. He's a man child. Yeah, you know I, the type. Oh, I do too. And drinking all the time, I'm sure. Newly so pouting. Like, if you're going to come out and, like, there was a picture of her, like, scolding him for, like, sulking at some award show. Yeah. I would scold you, too. Fuck you. you we, we were coming out yeah. to this fucking thing. And he's like. You're just sitting there pouting. Fuck yeah. you. Get the fuck out. <laughs> but she's, it, this is karma, too. Because she's, I think she saw she, that maybe things weren't going well for her. So she thought, ooh, a resurgence. I'll, I'll get back together with Ben. Yeah, I think she's kind of abusing him. I do, too. And then her show bombed. I think she thought she could be like Taylor Swift, I didn't Beyonce. Know she, yeah, and I didn't know she had a skincare line. Yeah, that she bombed, had a or it didn't bomb, but it's not not very great. Well. No, she used to be unstoppable. You know, it's that. It's also age. I think it's also because Beyonce's up there too. Yeah, that is true. But I, I think it's that her antics over the years caught up with her. She could get away with this in the '90s. There was no TikTok. All the bad experiences people have had are coming out. Yeah. I told you about, I had a friend who owned a restaurant in Miami and he dealt with celebrities all the time and he said she was the worst person on the planet. I've heard those stories Over and over and over. Mean, nasty person. It's not a one-time thing because like anybody could be made to look, oh my God, Swampy, imagine us famous, like definitely bad days, things would go wrong. Oh yeah. But when it's this many incidents, like she's a known a-hole. Yeah, she is. So I've really uh, taken to uh, watching people die. Really? Yeah, I really like it. I, I'm not like in a bad, not like snuff films or anything, but I'm obsessed with that. So your searches would could be like... Well, I was thinking that, but no, it's all... I watch... Hentai? No, but like people on, on YouTube, like the Cancer Warriors, like the people who have terminal yeah. cancer. I can't watch any of that. Oh, anymore. see, I, I like, and I like watching the progression. Why? I think it's just surreal. It's surreal. It's it's. I get it. It's, it's like, like trying to understand. It's death. trying to understand death, and I've always been obsessed with it. But it's gotten bad. I think because of YouTube. It's like I have all of these people. But as soon as they, if they start getting better, I lose interest. It's like oh, they're getting bad. I don't care. Yeah. Interesting. I, yeah, I can understand. It's a fascination with death. I think I've, it always has been. But then I think when my mother died, it ramped up. That makes sense. You're replaying your trauma. Yeah. You watched her die. It's You're crazy. processing it. And it's okay. crazy. That's, well, the success of Walking Dead, zombie stories. Then we had Twilight, vampire stories, always undead, undead. Yeah. We all have a fascination with death. Why do you think I'm obsessed with serial killers? You know what's weird, though, Swampy? I used to have dreams about them, like the victims. Of the Rex Rex Hewerman? This happened to me twice, that I had a dream that was connected to a crime in the news. There was a girl who was unalived um, jogging in Howard Beach. With the mother. Yes. Well, the night before that happened, I had a dream that I was walking with a a girl with a black ponytail and I watched her get attacked and I ran for help. And when this broke, I was like really freaking out. Mr. Martha was like, there's something wrong with you because I was like, oh my God, I know that face. I know that girl. Like, who knows? Maybe I just thought it was who I dreamt, but it was really vivid to me. Yeah. And the same thing happened to me with the Gilgo, Gilgo Beach girls. Like I kept and dreaming. You, you would also go out there, wouldn't you? Yeah, I used to drive out there. I wonder if I knew one of them from somewhere. Something about that story had me like, maybe because I felt like I could have been a lost girl. You know, I had an era when I was so depressed and so dark. Like Because none of them woke up one day doing escort work. No. They were all like a mom or a dream of opening a beauty school. I mean, they were you know, doing this on the side to get by to get temporarily, by. and they got snagged by a monster. But also, it was just the incompetence of the cops. I mean, because it sounds, from what you've told me about it, is he could have been caught numerous times. Oh, this is how easy it was. So, one of the last ones that he was, well, charged with was Amber Costello. That wasn't his usual MO, where, like, he would, like, meet them, you know, and, like, take them, and they would just disappear. This was somebody that he met with and came back for in revenge. You know what I mean? It was a different setup. That's right. It wasn't his long-term stalking. Yeah. So she was, you know, on heroin, living with a couple of guys, and they were doing dumb stuff, and they sometimes would pull a ruse. Like, if she didn't really want to sleep with someone, she would have them come to the house, and then the guys would come out and rob them. What are you doing with my woman? Yeah. So they did that to him. Good. And the and the and the texts were in the bail document where he wrote that wasn't very nice. You know, do we get like a makeup session kind of thing? Well, the makeup session was when he took. Her. Yeah. He got her. Like, haha! I'll show you. But that day, the guy who walked her out 
describe the truck and it yeah. was a very distinctive truck. And he told the police that the last guy was here. We had this altercation with, he was a really big guy, yeah. like an ogre. Yeah. And he wore seventies glasses, really big guy. Then he describes the truck, the green Chevy avalanche, which was unusual. All they had to do was look up DMV records of this truck and cross reference it with driver's licenses. Yeah. People over six feet narrow it down you would have had him in no time and then he comes right up in the area where the phone calls taunting the victim's yeah. sister would be made i mean that's what i mean obviously a lot of it is sick but the fact that he would taunt them is so disturbing to yeah me. he called her up and said i'm watching your sister rot and he probably was he was he held them in his basement he tortured them i want to go visit him in prison i don't think we're allowed i might go to one of the hearings you should come i with would me. go I wanted to cover the whole case with Marissa. It's just so hard to find the time. But I want to go to one of these hearings and look at him. I don't know what it is in me that wants to look at him. Because he's a monster. How could you do such a thing over and over? And he's been doing it for so long. For so long he's gotten away with this. Because he thought they didn't matter. But they did. They caught up with him. Well, these guys always get caught in the end. They do. Rarely. That's the thing. He thought he was so smart. But the truth is he was just lucky yeah. that the police were... Yeah. The, the thing is that at the same time, this guy Burke was covering up his own antics. That's the reason why they weren't really looking into this. It was very easy to solve all along. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, he was such a great, you know, great criminal. He hit his tracks well. He left DNA. He left hair on the tip. I mean, he did a lot wrong. And he gave into his emotions. He never should have gone back for Amber Costello. He was mad and he punished them. Yeah. And they're the ones who saw him and yep. identified him. Uh, Nick Cannon had balls insured for ten million. He's disgusting too. There's something wrong with that. Guy. He's disgusting. It's not okay, and he thinks it's fun. It's charming. Just keep making children. They have nothing to do. Did with. he have like five at one time? Yeah, something Except like five that. Five different women. You know who loves him, Howard, and Howard has like tried to talk to him about this. Like, dude, what are you doing? It's a mental illness. It is. It is. Oh, that bums me. Well, it's like Rosie. Rosie has no issue with Alec Baldwin. Rosie well, she O'Donnell. She likes Hilaria. Why? Their beautiful family. The ch all the children, because she... You know what? She's going to get busted. There's no way that only one kid is a surrogate baby. They're all. Maybe There's one. no way. Maybe I... she had one. Well, a lot of people think she only had the first one, and yeah. she got quite heavy at the time. You can look at pictures of her pregnant, and she has an eating disorder. She admitted to this. I could see her being so freaked out by the experience of having been pregnant that she never wanted to do it again. It's speculation, but I don't know. And they have seven... Seven Baldwinitos. Do you think plus Ireland? More, plus or I oh, I wonder what she's like now. She has a baby too. Do you know what the baby's name is? Pig. Remember that you thoughtless little pig, Holland. She didn't want to show the baby's face on social Good media for, for the longest time. Yeah, but now she shows her constantly. Oh. I'm like, oh wow, all of a sudden, yeah. I I guess do whatever you want with your kids, but don't make like this is your principled stand. I don't want to show her yeah. face, and then now you put her picture up at every opportunity. And now, when it's actually probably the time when you shouldn't be showing her face, as she's actually getting old. Oh my God, Swampy. I hate everybody. I know. One time, I went to an audition when we first started doing our YouTube. Somebody asked me what I did in my spare time. <laughs> Something like that. Are you working on anything? And I said, yeah, I do a YouTube channel with my mommy and me. And I meant to say with Martha and I. And it was like a Freudian slip. And I told you my mother. I am your mommy. Still am. Yep. That's why my son loves you so much. You're his brother. I'm his big brother. And, you know, oh, maybe one day we could talk about my therapist. Oh, that's a good story. Yeah. Maybe you want, if, 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 if people have any interest. Do you guys want to know about his psychotherapist? That is a good one. I couldn't do it now. No, but... it's late, but we're going to do. So here's the thing. We're going to do these videos. It's very like hard to schedule these things because, you know, mommy life and Swampy's a very busy working actor these days. I know, meaty cheesy. And we don't live in Queens together anymore. I'm still in Queens, but he lives in Connecticut. So, you know, it's a little bit of driving, but we will keep making videos, but we're going to just like talk about anything. Yeah. And we might do it. You might come to me sometimes. I'll come here. Yeah, I finally got a car. She got a so car. So now I can come visit you. Yeah, I almost sideswiped it. <laughs> I would have felt so bad. I didn't have a car for years. It was so much a part of my identity. I always had wheels. So you it's always were weird. giving me rides. Yeah, it was weird not having a car for a while. But then I gave into it because when you have a baby, you don't want to like do any. I, I, I had nowhere to go. I was always like breastfeeding and changing diapers. No, but now like, you're going to want to get out. Well, he, he needs to be entertained. He's so smart. Do you ever take him to the beach? 
Well, I'm going to take him this summer. I want to yeah. go to the beach. I don't think he really liked it. We took him last year and he was a little bit like That's what nervous. Daniel was like. He kept calling the sand dirt. He wanted to get out. He was the dirt. Well, now he um he's like fascinated by water. He when he takes a bath, he says swimming. And then he shows me his penguin and he goes pinguino. Oh. He loves counting. He loves to count with you. He goes up to 53. He goes 50. up to 50. He could do more. I'm sure he could. He's smart. He goes fast with you, too. Yeah. Papa was testing him. He's like, 23, 24, 25, 26. I love his little voice. I know. He's like, 26. Yeah. He has like a raspy little yeah. voice. Sounds like an Irish drunk. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day. Sounds like the guy who sold me my car. My car. Oh, really? What yeah. was his oh, name? Oh, he's originally from that area. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I bought the car in Rhode Island, but the salesman is from, from Boston. Great car. Great car. <laughs> It's Peggy. Peggy. How do we say goodbye? I, you know, I used to have such a formal goodbye, like subscribe, hit the like button, follow us on Instagram. We're, we're getting back in the saddle. So and yes. Thank you to those of you who are still here. I was thinking, you know, when we first did this years and years and years ago, I thought of, I think it was like whatever happened to George and Martha. And now it really is whatever happened to George and Martha. Oh. We disappeared for four years. Yeah, a lot has happened. Whatever happened, they grew up. But you know what? Also, if if you, any of you remember Miss Michelle and you have a memory of her calling in. Oh, my God. Please say something. Please comment. I have to go through my footage of her. I mean, she really was like a star. She could have pursued acting. I oh, think what? she would have been successful. She was this hidden gem. But there's so many people like that. Viola Davis, right? Where's all yeah. the best talent in the world in the graveyard? Yes. Undiscovered. Right? It's now, now we're over Roman Nepo babies. Michelle was so funny. Such a natural, gifted uh, comic. That's why people were so jealous of her. People were. Mm hmm. She'd call in and she was so funny. Yeah. She had everybody enraptured. And, and he, there were so many, just, you know, people were rubbed the wrong way because yeah. they thought they had like a craft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah. funny. Yeah, not funny. You'll be hearing lots of politics from us. Yeah. So buckle up. If you don't like it, split. Yeah. No, really. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but really, like, we we're going to talk about it. I've been told you should avoid politics. No, I don't care. No, because this is how we feel. Exactly. Howard goes through that. They like, I keep, <laughs> as if I'm Howard. <laughs> we are. Yep. I'm Robin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying, like, he's had that issue. Like, a lot of his base is very Trumpy, and they're so mad at him, and, like, telling him off. <laughs> he's a liberal. So disappointed in you, Howard. I've been listening to you for 30 years. Yep. Yep, Howard's woke. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I love you, Swanson. I love you, Martha. Mommy. My son loves you. I love you, That's son. the cutest thing ever. My little beefy. Maybe when he's like 18, we'll still be doing this, and then you can meet him. Yeah, I'm I'll not be... putting a minor on YouTube. No. God, I wonder where we'll be in 18. Yes. Yeah, I know we're gonna we'll be, be alive. We'll still be like this. Yeah, we will. Just more have more it's losses be even to report. Worse. Yep. There'll be oh. more people. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, bye guys. Bye. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Hi, George and Martha. This is Miss Michelle. I called earlier, but I couldn't leave a message because someone came in and wanted to tap this ass. So, first things first. Love you guys. Bye.